So if Philadelphia was a person, it'd be a hardworking, cheesesteak-loving rebel with a taste for fine art. But this city has a dark side too. My name is Scott Dirkus. I'm a tour guide here at Eastern State Penitentiary Historic Site in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Eastern State Penitentiary was the largest and most expensive public structure built in 1829. The British architect John Haviland was tasked with designing the prison and found his inspiration from the asylums and prisons built in Ireland and France in the 1780s. The prison is designed based on what's called a radial plan. Picture a wagon wheel in your mind with a hub and spokes coming out of that hub in all different directions. That's the overall design of Eastern State. They had a central surveillance building right in the center of the 10-acre property, and then seven cell blocks to start coming out of that hub in all different directions. And there are approximately 300 of the prisons throughout the world that are designed after Eastern State's model. Eastern State Penitentiary was not built to be an ordinary prison. The idea for a different type of prison, one of reform, came from a meeting at Benjamin Franklin's house in 1787. The hope was to help reform the criminals through penitence. They did develop this new word, penitentiary, and the idea behind that is trying to reform and rehabilitate the criminals and the inmates. Inmates of Eastern State were encouraged to reflect upon their actions and wrongdoings through solitary confinement, 24 hours a day. This idea of sitting in solitude, you know, reflecting on what you've done, maybe your sins or your wrongdoings. Um, that's kind of the idea that originally occurred here. The hope of this system of incarceration was to reform the criminals, but that's not exactly what happened here. Overall, you could say that this, this plan basically failed, um, and there were a number of reasons for its failure. For one, they're facing overcrowding. They had too many inmates coming into uh, the prison, and so it was hard to keep them isolated at all times. They uh, also were suffering from mental illnesses, a uh, few of them anyway, being locked inside of their cells in complete solitude with little or no human contact. Surveillance was the main reason for Eastern State's radial design, but that didn't stop over 100 escape attempts over the course of the prison's lifespan. Out of those 100 attempts, however, only one prisoner successfully made his way to freedom. We're not really sure what happened to him. His name was Leo Callahan, and in 1923, he and five other inmates built a ladder to go over the east wall. They disguised this ladder by cutting it up into five-foot sections, and they were uh, hidden inside of their cells and actually disguised as tabletops. So the inmates just kind of kicked out the legs. You'd flip the tabletop over, and there were rungs for the ladder on the other side. They somehow snapped it very quickly together along the east wall and went over. Five of them were brought back. Leo Callahan, the sixth inmate, was never heard from again. We're not entirely sure what exactly happened to him. Eastern State had its fair share of criminals throughout the years, including some rather notorious names that you've probably heard of before. Two of the more well-known inmates that were here were Willie Sutton, who was a famous bank robber in the 20th century, and Al Capone, who was here for about eight months between 1929 and 1930. Capone stayed uh, in cell block eight. He's placed here because he's caught carrying a concealed deadly weapon. It's often rumored that he might have been hiding out here at the prison. His home base is in Chicago. If you look at what was going on at that time in Chicago, violence was really escalating there. The St. Valentine's Day massacre just happened. It's believed he orchestrated that and then came here to Eastern State or to even the East Coast to kind of hide out and protect his own life. Eastern State Penitentiary is now a historical site that operates as a museum with guided and self-guided tours. Make sure you plan ahead and take in one of the guided tours. You'll be able to see the hospital wing of the museum, which includes the operating room. You will also be able to see the ruins of Death Row, as well as a trip down to The Hole, the dark corridor beneath cell block 14. Part of Eastern State's charm, if you want to call it that, comes from the fact that it lies in ruins. It really helps give the prison a feel that can only be experienced by walking the halls. Eastern State has such a long history as an active facility, 142 years, that we really can't pinpoint an exact period of time to restore it back to. The goal today is just to treat it as a stabilized ruin, keep it preserved in this ruinous state, but yet also keeping it safe for visitors to explore.